Hello everybody, Flamin' Shark back with another video and today we're reacting to March Comes In Like a Lion episodes 4 to 7 and I look fucking weird without a mustache. Oh my god, it looks so weird. I think it looks even worse because um, I, the way I, I, I get like, I like, you know, that kind of 5 o'clock shadow deal where it's like, unless I shave every day, I... It kind of looks like this, so, yeah. This is also probably going to be, hopefully, if everything works out, this is probably going to be the last time in quite a while I record a video and then post it the next day. Because I'm recording this Wednesday night. It's about 10 o'clock at night, and you guys should be seeing this tomorrow, The uh, this video. I'm about to record this, then I'm going to do Vox Machina, which will be Saturday's video, and then because I already have Scooby-Doo done for Friday, and then uh, maybe I'll record some more stuff. We'll see. But... Like I said, moving forward, as I try for the millionth time to be consistent, if everything works out, this will probably be the last time for a long time, at least excluding maybe videos that are like off rotation that I just record them and post them right after I record them. Uh, as far as like the weekly stuff and the rotational stuff and all that, this hopefully will be the last time in a long time I record a video the day before it goes up. Um, knowing me, that's probably not how it's going to work out, but we can hope for the best. So, um, yeah, I'm excited for this though. We're about to dive in a little deeper into, um, Sangatsu. We're going to do four episodes today. We're doing episodes four to seven of season one. Uh, we did a, a single, you know, it was supposed to be one to three, but I decided to stop at one and then we did two and three. So we're three episodes in, but now we start to get into real sets for this show and our first real set for this show is episodes 4, 5, 6, and 7. So I'm very excited to dive a little deeper into this show, to spend, you know, two hours, give or take, probably a little more than two hours if I had to guess, really um, enjoying and dissecting this show, because I think this show is going to be very interesting based on what we saw in the first three episodes. And I really love how episode 3 ended off in the the uh, exchange between Hina and and Kiriyama was really interesting, and I really enjoyed that. And I'm really excited for where they go from here, because it did feel like a bit of a revelation for Ray that uh, that he has these repressed feelings about what happened to his parents, and he tries, he just, he kind of goes on, you know, living up to his name, and doesn't really think about that type of stuff, and is kind of, is very repressed emotionally, and I think... It'll be interesting to see how that evolves and um, eventually shows itself uh, in in his life and potentially in his play. Because again, this is still a shogi anime, even if shogi is clearly a a vehicle to portray this character, right? But I, I'm super excited. This was a really good start, uh, really into the show so far. I think it's really interesting. I think it's going to be a nice um, it'll be a nice way to spend our Thursdays together for quite a while. So. I'm excited for more March Comes In Like a Lion, and the fact that we have a, a nice, uh, legitimate four-episode set coming up should be fun. So, yeah, I don't think there's anything else that needs to be said. Let's jump in to episode four of March Comes In Like a Lion in three, two, one, and play. Here's this OP. Also, another thing that's been really cool is this show's been, uh, so far I've, been, I've, I've been able to get it on YouTube without any issues, so I haven't had to edit it uh, or anything, so hopefully that persists. At the very least, it should be like this for season two, uh, season one. We'll see about season two, but I doubt it'll change for season one. It is really like he's questioning not only why is he still alive, but why does he feel the way he feels. Like it's wrong to feel so alive despite, given what happened. It's very interesting. Oh, 
and the bridge, which now already has more meaning to it than it did before after episode three. All right, let's jump into episode four. Chapter seven, Hina. Okay, well, I mean, interesting that this is the chapter named after her after what happened last episode. I don't know what Kimpira is. Nice. でも中学生の男子でしょ。で試合の後だとしたら可愛いよりうまそうの方がいいんじゃないの？ねえ、桐山君。Wow. Damn, he's good with his hands. Not just when it comes to moving shogi pieces. Oh my god, I literally just said that. That is literally her casually saying, hey, if you want to use your hands in another way, I might be down. ネガマチするから冬のおやつにぴったりなの。Interesting。そしてどうやらその試合には、ひなちゃんの気になる人が出るらしいのだ。牛乳屋さんの子なんだよね。高橋くんって背の高橋や。自分家の牛乳片っ
食費払うって言ったんだけどあかりさんなかなか受け取ってくれなくてでもこれでちゃんと受け取ってくれるようになるかも、うん、そしたらもう僕も申し訳ないし Yeah that's the thing like he kind of makes bank like especially for a kid his age he makes a ton of money お姉ちゃんってね何でも拾ってくるの犬とか猫とか昔からなのガリガリの子を見るとほっとけないの Makes sense damn ふくふくにするのが好きなの She's just a wholesome woman. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 Back in his apartment where he has literally nothing. Like, bro, get a, you can get a little furniture. Like, you don't need a lot, but. The fuck? What if it's your boy, though? Oh, my God, this girl. Man, I love how that time is literally going at light speed right now. What the hell is Ken? Jesus Christ. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter if you go to school. You just need to make it on time for, for your boy and his, uh, give him your, his post, uh, baseball game food. Post game meal. Okay, good, 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 good. Yeah, you should at least get a desk and a chair. Maybe a laptop. Oh, they, we're gonna get, we're gonna see the guy. Was it two to one? Oh, that's the guy. That's Takahashi, a legend! Wait, this feels mildly stalkerish, even if you didn't do this on purpose. Yeah. What the hell? All the boys seem like they want to smash him too. I really need to do a baseball anime one day. He really does. But I. Bro, that's, that's kind of creepy. Oh! I don't. Okay, okay, I know you didn't mean it in a weird way, but I hate, I hate the way you phrased that. Um. 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 Did homie get raped? What the hell? Oh. Well, that's mildly concerning. And the only reason it's. Damn, literally getting. Damn, bro, literally getting wrecked. Isn't. I might be mixing up Matsuda and Matsuya, but I think one of those is like a. I want to say it's just like a place where you get like beef balls or like. You get like pork instead or whatever, but just like basic kind of almost like ja the, the equivalent of like Japanese style fast food, if that makes sense. Well, you can't be doing that. 
ダメだよだってお姉ちゃん聞くもんどうして渡さなかったのってせっかく作ったのになんでってなんだお,お姉ちゃんにはわかんないもんなんで泣くんだだってお姉ちゃんは綺麗だもん Damn. お料理だって上手だし Jealous of Big Sis Wow. It's also interesting to see how Ray kind of struggles to understand other people's emotions the same way he struggles to understand his own. Yeah, I, I think it's a more general lack of understanding of people, but. But it also works if it's just, just femoids. So, what does it look like? It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Aww. There's always next time. お姉ちゃんも渡せなかったことあるもんわかるわよお姉ちゃんもあげれなかったことあるのそりゃあるよひなと同じだよかわいいの作りたくて張り切って頑張って焦って失敗わあ、wow, that's literally exactly what happened だからつい口出ししちゃったでねなんか思い出しちゃった昨夜私がひなに言ったことって昔お母さんが私に言ったことと同じなのああ親子なんだななんてねうんおかしいわねお母さんが<笑>さあじゃあみんなで食べようかあ<笑>あ、うん、That's what's important you, you know you might not have your parents but you still got family that's there for you and that's what matters the most 食べたい Cats always want something. Dude, the cats are so satisfied. It might be dead. Oh no. Oh no. It might be a good thing. Yeah, it might be a good thing you didn't actually. It, it was kind of. It kind of. It kind of. It's a good thing that you didn't. This didn't make it to. Yeah, it's a good thing this didn't make it to your boy Takahashi. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny as hell. She fucking blows at cooking. That was a cute chapter, and now verses. Okay, are we gonna get into a match? Yes, sir. Back to show you. You can see the line? I don't cut that a book of this, you know. Ah, my gain show to still a sort of my yoga now. Gain show to get yeah, seriously. He beat you in the in real life. Ah, hi, hi. What can you must? Oh, my no catch the eel. So that oh, my no kiga summoner. Dude, low key, I love it. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, で、俺が居飛車で、お前がもう一回行ってゾン角代わりな。しかも何それ、俺ただの練習台じゃん。小さい、小さいよ、桐山。ことは急を要するんだ。行ってゾン角代わりなんて、このままのさばらせておくわけにはいかないんだよ。いや、やっぱり。じゃあ、振り飛車させばいいじゃん。俺は居飛車党なんだよ。Yeah, he wants to master his his opening and all the ways to count all the ways to counter the counters to his opening. At most levels of competitive chess, most players do have a go-to opening. It's only when you start to get to grandmaster level and super grandmaster level that you'll see players who just play anything because they're so good. But most players will have either a go-to opening or a couple openings. <laughs> the Kaido vaccine. Wow. And if anything, um, 
What the fuck? The Nikaido system. That sounds a little better. Um, it's a little better with uh, what's it called? Uh, like I said, I feel like all the things that I say about chess can relate to shogi because the games, like the lingo, is very similar. Okay, McDonald's. <laughs> Giga Mac. Jesus Christ. Yeah, let's get a beef Oh, there's our girl, yeah. What the fuck, Momo? Did you lose your sisters, or...? Is Baldoro some, like, anime character or something? Kiriyama, <laughs> I bet. What the fuck? Is that supposed to be Totoro? I bet that's a parody of Totoro. Overrated movie, by the way. <laughs> Damn, he's actually really good with kids. Even though she should never do that. <laughs> Bro looks nothing like Boloro. Uh, for big guys? I don't know about best friend, but sure. What the fuck? She's actually... What the hell is happening? Now Nikaido is going to be part of the fucking claw... The fucking... What the fuck? Oh my god, fold some more. Apparently he's really good at origami too. Good I guess that makes sense though, he is a rich boy. Bro, what the hell? Is, is it the fact that she wants someone that'll appreciate her cooking and she figures plump what the hell? What the world? Girl is really horny. I guess it I guess it lines up, but Jesus Christ. So that's what she's trying to do, she's trying to fatten you up. Kiriyama. え、えっと、あの、すいません。何でもないです。食べられます。まあ、そうなのね。意外だわ。大人の味が好みなのね。おかしいわ。その方まんなボディはそんなメニューでは維持できないのね。わあ、わあ、わあ。ディーナ、I want that shit. I want uh Yes, you're right. Like, you can be healthy at that size, but it's still important to do your best to eat well. But of course, he has health complications, after all. もう何食ったらいいのか。お酒もダメだって。ほんの少しだけならだってさ。ああ、山本様、お気の毒な。じゃあ、おつまみは私だけにそばの世話や。お店でのトークに耳を傾けてるわけじゃなくて。Wow.
リカイドウ君は味付け自分で自由にしてみてね美味しい薄味なのによかったよく噛んでゆっくり食べてね、うんうん、はい30回以上噛むようにジーヤにもいつも言われているのですがどうにも自分せっかちで。<laughs> Is she about to react to the fact that he has a butler? No? Yeah. Yeah, actually. I guess it could be Grandpa. Oh, it's the butler! There he is! 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 よくここがわかりましたね。それはもちろんジー。What the fuck? What the hell? Bro, bro, bro. Literally is a tracking device on the on the Kaido. What the hell? ジーヤはいつだってどこにいても必ず迎えに来てくれるんだ。昔から。Dude, Hanaoka is a savage. He's making sure that his boy doesn't get in trouble. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad that you're. <laughs> Picked up on that. Usually, characters don't pick up when they stop mid sentence. Crescent Moon. Okay. Nice. Yeah, he's Hanaoka is such a、uh, fine gentleman, so of course、uh, he knows what's up. Is that the end of the episode? Yeah, that is the end of the episode, okay. Definitely felt like the first episode, what should be the first episode of a set, for sure. I'm sure that's a term, a school of fish for like a group of fish or something. They're probably called a school. I mean, I've never heard that before, but I imagine that's like an actual term. The determination with the hair moving like that for half a second, he looks a little bit like Natsuki Suguru. <laughs> It's interesting to see that level of determination in him in that ED because you really, we really haven't seen him make a face like that yet in the anime. Find your younger self there. Nice. That was March comes. Yeah. And now we're gonna find the end card. Okay, this is the end card. It is drawn by Hikawa Hikiru.、Uh, it's very cute. I don't know if this is a reference to something, because I don't know if it's like. Weird lion wolf creature, and then our girl riding a weird looking horse. This is interesting art, it's it, it's definitely cute. Uh, but we, I will take a quick look and see if I have any clue who Hikawa Hikiru is. So I will just uh make take a momentary look at that. Creator of a of a series called、P、Pony Pony, yeah. So maybe it is like a a reference based on the name. I wonder. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like a, 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 a if if that whole thing is a reference to her series mixed with Sangatsu. Uh, cool though. Cool. Very cool. All right, that was episode four of March Comes in Like a Lion. A very solid episode. I really enjoyed it. It was nice. It was nice to see. 
I feel like this was kind of the first time we've seen uh, Kiriyama's two worlds uh, collide because with Nikaido meeting the Kawamoto sisters, you kind of had like his shogi side of his life and the Kawamoto sisters side of his life uh, clash. And I think that was pretty cool. It's cool that <clears throat> Nikaido seems <laughs> in his own weird way is becoming actual like legitimate friends with Ray and then for him to actually meet uh really the people that are most important to Ray in his life and we even got Hanaoka the butler to show up so he's also kind of involved in this and it looks like Hanaoka Hanaoka Nikaido uh, Kiriyama and the Kawamoto sisters are all going to have some dessert together I, I'm not sure whether or not um you know Nikaido will eat it but the very least the rest of them will and that's really cool so yeah i'm really excited to see how that all goes and it should be a lot of fun that was a uh, really nice episode of sangatsu and a really nice way to start the set and like i said we're cooking because we're we're in the show now we're doing a four episode video so we still got a lot of um of Sangatsu to get into, and we're going to kind of see where we go from here, right? So it should be interesting. I'm really looking forward to what we get out of this. Uh, but like I said, I assume we're just going to pick off right where we left off in episode five. We're going to we're going to continue kind of the, now it's post meal, but we're going to have some dessert all together, and we're going to talk, and maybe you know, and maybe um um. Maybe uh, Akari will learn a little bit about, a little more about Kiriyama than she does. Learn a little bit about his uh, shogi exploits, perhaps. And again, just kind of seeing his two worlds blend together more than they have in the first three episodes. Or I guess first four, really. But that should be fun. Not really a whole lot else to say about this episode. This was... A much calmer episode than last time. Obviously, episode three, we got into some really serious shit. I think the only thing that I kind of want to at least part of, at least bring up for a second here is we got a when um, in in the first chapter, so in chapter seven, so the first part of this episode, uh, when Kiriyama was at the junior high and watching uh, Takahashi, uh, you know, hit the home run and seeing. Um, how, how, uh, Hino is reacting and all that stuff. He, there was a moment where when he thought of love, he thought of this obviously sexual situation that he was in with this girl. And given the way it was portrayed and, and, and the way he seemed to kind of react to it, uh, almost, uh, it, it, it came across as a traumatic reaction. And based on the, what little they showed us, there's legitimately a possibility that this girl like sexually assaulted him <laughs> like that's not funny at all but like it's just like whoa whoa I wasn't prepared for that I didn't I'm very curious to elaborate further on that because that's something like we're building up all this stuff about the about his uh repressed feelings from a perspective of his his dead parents and all that but now possibly we're also going to attack repressed feelings uh romantic feelings sexual feelings etc because of this experience that he potentially had with this girl so there's like now there's another layer potentially to um you know kiriyama's uh um strife and, and i'm i'm hyped for that i'm, I'm hyped to kind of peel back the layers of his character and, and learn more about what made him the way he is today. And um, that should be great. So very interesting. Again, maybe I overreacted a little. Maybe, you know, it, it might not be that serious. It might it just have been the fact that he had this a romantic entanglement with this girl that went that far. But it's just the way that the, the show kind of gave us that tease made it feel very uncomfortable and it felt like a situation in which ray felt like he had no control over and it it came across kind of rapey if we're being honest and that's really interesting um because yeah i mean up to this point i had no 
There was never a point in the first three episodes where something like that being related to this story even remotely crossed my mind. So I'm interested to see if my initial read on that was correct or if it was something perhaps a bit more innocent than it looked. I mean, obviously not innocent. It was clearly it was clearly going in a sexual direction, but I mean like innocent in the sense of like, you know, like you know, two people, I assume, I hope, around the same age, because there's also that possibility that the woman, because the woman did look pretty mature, she could have been way older, so there's also that potential, um, but, uh, two, two, two individuals of around the same age, you know, consenting to, to, to spicy time is fine, so, you know, if that's just what it is, that would be interesting, too, because you rarely see characters... Um, like Kiriyama, who have had experiences like that at all. So even if it was as simple as he had a romantic entanglement in the past, that would be a surprising and interesting development given a character like him does not come across as someone who would have had such an experience. But if that's the case, and he has, then I'm intrigued to see where they, what they do with that, and then where that goes. So either way, that scene intrigued me quite a bit. Whatever it meant, it meant something, and it's going to come up at some point, so excited for that. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so I think we're ready to jump into episode 5 of March Comes In Like a Lion. All right, let's jump into episode 5 of Sangatsu in 3, 2, 1, and... Play. Interesting, so it seems like the OP is at the beginning of the episode more often than not. Hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Um, I'm into it. I'm into it. It's very... It's just, it's just very interesting. I'm really into it. Like, I wouldn't say this show is made for me. Like, it's not quite on that level where, like, some shows like the Madoka or Monogatari feel almost like made for me. But this show, and, and I, it's funny I use the examples of the other two Shaft series I've watched, but um, this one has a lot of elements that are right up my alley. So I wouldn't necessarily, I don't necessarily think this was made for me, but it, at the same time, it's still definitely my type of show for sure. All right, here we go. Episode 5 and Chapter 9, Agreement. Okay. Oh, we did skip it then. Looks like we moved on to the next day, potentially. Like a hot pot of some kind? Oh, no, it's just a tea kettle. Okay, so we're in his next match now. Oh, no, this is the past. Okay, we're going to learn more. Um, what did you リュウに飛びつくと思ったのにな。You're Lake 
父とその人はずっと前、mm. 奨励会で一緒だった。Okay, so dad was also a shogi player. That makes sense. レイ君、さっき面白い手を指してきたよ。昔のお前と指してるみたいな気になった。かなり勉強してるみたいだな。だろ将棋は苦手だったけれど。忙しい父と一緒に過ごすの大事な時間だから一生懸命頑張ってた俺としてはもうちょっと外で遊んでほしいんだけどそういうところも似ちゃっ<笑>、yeah, like、yeah, ないいやいいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいやいや何を話してるのか追いつけなくて異国の言葉のように聞こえた Interesting. なのにバンを挟んでのその人の言葉はちゃんといつも僕の中に染みてきた大人なのにちゃんと僕に語りかけてくれてる and, and それが分かった家族以外ではただ一人だった。At least until you met the Kawamoto sisters, clearly. You're doing, and, and you have Nakaido now, so you're doing a lot better now, if anything, Kiriyama. You're growing up and you actually have a few friends. t r u l y as long as you have a few good friends, that's all you need. Damn, someone calling while he was interrupting his study. Eh? Momo chan o hoi kuen ni mukai ni? So na no, oba ga ne? So, atta koto aru de shu? Uchi no mise misaki no mama. Ah. Kai dan fumi hazu shite, ashi da boku shchatte. Thanks. Yoi na no. Ah. Hina wa bukatsu de renrak tore na kute. Oji chan wa o mise da shi. Gomen ne. It is interesting that Ray is the first person he calls. And that she calls. Says a lot about what Akari thinks of her. Him. God, what am I. I got my genders all fucked up today. Man, Momo is such a happy kid. That's a good to see. Tanoshi so da na. Yeah. Momo chan, so re nan no utadai? Unto ne, neko no uta. Hmm. Hajimete kiku na. Interesting. Oh no, the hat! Jesus Christ, what the fuck, dog? Wow, I, it is so funny that the freaking. That the freaking <laughs> it is funny that all the animals. That we get to hear the animals' thoughts in this. Uh, that we get to hear all the um, animals. Uh, Uh, scraped her knees and her and her hands. <laughs> He just nods and leaves. Aww. Yeah, she is a little girl. I mean, that that all seemed about right to me. ほらついたよももちゃん。手当てしないとね。しょ。ももちゃん、お薬箱どこかわかる？よく見せて。あ,あ、傷口に砂が入っちゃってるな。
This is gonna sting a little bit, but he'll uh, he'll take care of it. <laughs> Look at him being like a big brother, borderline father over here. Yeah. Oh god, what trauma what trauma have we activated this time? Oh god. Oh god. What the fuck? Mom? Wait, actual sister? Whoa. God, there's... It's so interesting because we know nothing about Kiriyama. Like, you're just thrown into the story and... He locks this down in his... In his psyche. Nice, badass fucking... Momo, holy shit. Oh, あの、喉が乾いたので牛乳か何かいただきませんか。レイちゃん、すっごく気にしてたね。ご飯もちょっとしか食べなかったし。いや。ママ、なかなかだな。ママ、もらってない。But yeah. oh, wow. to be fair, I think it actually if anything. Yeah, yeah, seriously, but I think it was more that he was sussing. レイちゃんは泣いてた。涙がポロポロしてた。ママ、見たもん。Interesting. There's so much I want to know about you, Kiriyama. Do you know Akari? Yeah. You reminded him of someone that he doesn't want to think about. A sister. Yep, there it is. Yeah, it's the first I've heard of her. Bokuno Nichijoa Aruhi Kinari Hikichigirari Totsuni Oata. Yeah. Jesus Christ. Enso Karamodo. Jesus Christ. Oh, God. The fact that that makes it so much worse. Holy shit, this OST is popping. It's fucking interrupting my thoughts. This OST is so... Oh, I love me some piano. But, um... It's bad enough that... Yeah, it's bad enough that he lost his parents. The fact that he lost his sister and his... Oh. Yikes. Interesting. So his aunt is... せっかくお前が商業を辞めて死んでくれて、これからは全部うまくいく。大丈夫ですよ。僕がいますよ。僕に任せてください。そうよ。最初からそう言ってたのに、父さんは兄さんばっかり。かわいそうに。レイ君に
Oh yeah, nobody Where gives a shit that? about Ray. Everyone's focused on everyone else and not the person that's hurting the most. Kimi wa... Have anywhere? Shogi, Sukika. Kore ga keiyaku no shunkan datta. Damn. Shogi no kami sama to boku. Mini kai no sama. The god of Shogi and I were bound to each other by an ugly lie. The lie that I like Shogi. Wow. Jesus. Oh, that's so good. That's... That, that, that's so good. The agreement. There it is. Agreement. One flew over the cuckoo's nest, huh? We're going the classics here. Yes, that is how that works. You can cut it off. I really like the way the backgrounds are drawn in this show. Yeah, there's the Sangatsu convenience store. Koreka? Oh, he's actually gonna... He's actually gonna try and fix it. Whoa! What the fuck? Holy shit. Yeah. That's right. Damn, a zero. Literally calling him. Yeah, and a zero in quotes. Good to see Kyoko. Was Kyoko the one? Wait. Now I think about it, was Kyoko the one that was like totally not on top of him in a sexual situation? And now I think about it. Oh, I'm so excited for them. Yeah, that's... Especially in Japan, of all places, that's... I think anywhere, but... Yeah, she's, she's super talented. Yeah, she's just... She's a strong, independent woman in every way, shape, or form. Oh, Jesus Christ. I could... She's... Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! What the hell? This girl needs to chill. Damn.変化私がそう呼べって言ったんだよ。なんでその子うちでしでしょ。用してもないのになんでお父さんなのよ。うちの中で師匠と呼ばれるのも落ち着か。え、that's that's not a title in uh, chess, but there are titles like that. Like Grandmaster, International Master, Fide Master, etc. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can't wait for uh, older Ayumu and Kyoko to be part of the story. I'm really excited for that. Especially Kyoko, based on what little we've seen. Damn. <laughs> Damn. 
He hit the wall. Pro ni naru no ga goal nan janai. Natte kara no hou ga ki ga tooku naru hodo nagai nda. Susume ba susume hodo michi wa kewashiku. Maori ni hito wa i naku naru. That's real shit. Jibun de jibun wo maintenance dekiru ningen shika. Dono michi saki e wa susume naku naru nda yo. They even use the exact day, the, the same type of clocks too. As in chess. Oh, they're playing each other right now. Damn, he's way up on the clock too. Oh shit, yeah, she's out of time, damn near. I don't know what the increment is. If it's like classical, it might be like 30 plus 15 or something. Lei, if you can't win, then you can't win. If you can't win, then you can't win. If you can't win, then you can't win. I understand, Kyoko. Jesus Christ. The only thing left is the only child. That girl is the only child. The only child 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 is the only child. It's pretty funny. That's not the way he thinks, but... Bro, did you just cut yourself? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I... See, this show is has been mostly wholesome, but, like, it's the type of show that I feel like in the snap of a finger can turn so dark. Mm. そして is this where Kyoko shows up? Yeah. Okay, she just wants He's thinking, it's literally like, Jesus, and, he, and, and he's relating to that bird. Yeah! Oh my God. Damn.学校というのは将来の道を選ぶために通うところだと思います。だからもう僕には必要はありません。このまま行けば今年中、今年は無理でも来年には三段リーグを抜け、僕はプロになります。将棋に集中したいんです。プロになって頑張って少しでも成績を
lot of really good backstory, and we actually got to see a bit more of uh, Ayumu, um, Ayumo and Kyoko, as well as Daddy, Daddy number two, I should say. Shouts to Puppet Chicken. These are some nice songs. The OP and ED. I do like them. I also think it's cool that the same band does the OP and ED. It's kind of like they're the signature band of the series if they stick around. But at least for this portion of the series. It kind of gives a bit of an identity to the uh, series uh, musically. Hmm. Alright, let's... Whoa, that, 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 those drawings remind me of, like, really old school, like, western drawings. I, I wouldn't think... I, would, I mean, maybe really old school Japanese drawings, but just a very old school feel to it, even though this was drawn in 2016, apparently, given the signature. Um, Higuchi Yuko. Interesting. I guess we'll have to see who that is. But yeah, this send card looks, uh, I mean, it's very well drawn. The detail is immaculate, actually. But, uh, yeah, some more, uh, little girls and a lot of Nekos. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's that. And that was episode five of March Comes In Like a Lion. Now, let me do a quick little check and see who this artist is and see if I know anything of theirs. Because so far, outside of Miura, I haven't actually recognized any of these people or anything they've been involved in. Okay, it looks like this person might be kind of famous. Maybe. Like they did something called Circus Final End. I'm trying to look for like, uh, like, like a Wikipedia for this person. There's Japanese Wikipedia for this person. Uh, it looks like they're just like a, an artist. Um, just like a really popular artist and illustrator. In, um, known for like dark kawaii, like arts, what's considered the dark kawaii uh, art style, I guess. I don't know. Really cool, though. Uh, doesn't look like, doesn't look like she's necessarily like an anime person or a manga person or anything. Just a, just a really uh, popular Japanese artist. Very cool though. Uh, but yeah, that was episode five of Songatsu and there's quite a bit to talk about in that episode. That episode was really spicy. Um, you know, episode four was pretty chill. There wasn't too much of note in that one. Whereas I feel like episode five, we really got into a lot of crazy shit um, surrounding Ray's backstory and his, his post after his family died, what his situation then become came from basically from when his family died to when he moved out to live on his own. And then the situation around Ayumu and Kyoko and his second father and all that craziness. And that was really interesting. And, and in the process, what they're doing is they're setting these two characters up. And I imagine for reconciliation and, to eventually be supporters and maybe to some degree even be able to help him study a little potentially given their background in shogi even if they're not as advanced as him uh, that doesn't mean that you can't help people that are better than you um if you have an understanding for the game there's still there's still a lot you could do so potentially but at the very least i think hyoko and ayumu are going to obviously i have no idea how to pronounce his name like it just doesn't sound natural to Ayumu, like I can't, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, but those two are going to be, um, uh, are going to come into the story again at some point, uh, maybe even in this set possibly, but at some point they're going to show up and it, it's a chance for, 
uh, them to reconcile and everything to be Gucci. Between them, hopefully. And I think, especially in the case of Kyoko, I'm really excited for her because she looks like she's a sassy bitch. And, and I think, like, she's going to be amazing. And I can't wait to learn more about her and what her deal is and how her dynamic evolves with uh, Kiriyama's. So I... I'm really excited for that. I think I'm, 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 and, and there was a lot more emphasis on her than Ayumu, which also makes me think she's the more relevant of the two moving forward. So that's really exciting. But this isn't the first time, too. I mean, they teased them at the beginning as well, so they're they're definitely going to be relevant at some point. It's just a matter of how long it takes before they introduce them. Do they introduce them together? Do they introduce one and then the other later, uh, properly in the present? I mean, we'll have to see. Mm. But yeah, that was a, that was a really good episode. And I think um, it was really interesting how most of that episode, it was literally just Kiriyama stitching up this sweater that he got from his second father. But it also, but in the process of that, they took us on this journey about his backstory um, as it pertains to his um, uh, Kyoko, Ayumu, and his second father, and like how, and they kind of like, like I said, stitched it together, or maybe weaved it together would also have worked decently well, but uh, yeah, really cool stuff, I really liked that episode, I thought it was really fun, and I'm really excited for more, it's gonna be, it's gonna be really cool, I, I, I'm, I really enjoyed what they brought to the table in this, in this set, uh, so far, and I think this episode was really spicy, and we got a lot more insight into his history we learned a bit about more about the circumstances of his parents death we learned that not only did his parents die in this car crash his little sister did too which makes it even worse um as far as his life just falling apart in an instant it's 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 an absolute uh tragedy and it's certainly a good it's certainly a spicy backstory to uh, develop and work upon for a character. And I think so much of this show is built on Kiriyama and, 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 and piecing together who this person is and who he's going to grow into. I feel like that is essentially mostly what this show is going to be about. And all the other characters are insulary pieces in, in telling that tale. Uh, I think this is one of those series where, like, in some series... You have a main character, but it's, it, you know, that they, they're a main character. It, it's a main character that's part of a grander story. Whereas I feel like in this series, the main character is the story. And um, I think that only works if you really, you really have to sell that main character. And like, you really have to believe in that character. And obviously the main character is going to have the primary arc of that story in most cases. But Again, sometimes the the main character just is the story, and this feels like one of those series where uh, Ray more or less is the story. Like this is the story of Kiriyama Ray in a more literal sense than a lot of um, other cases where a, you you might say that quote unquote about a series because it's the main character. So yeah, really good stuff. I really enjoyed that episode. I honestly think that might have been a contender for my favorite episode so far. I mean, like, the ending of episode three was probably still my favorite moment of the series so far, but I think episode five might be my favorite episode of Sangatsu so far. That was really, really good, and I'm really excited to jump into some more, so I guess we're going to check out episode six now. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't see any reason why not. So I'm going to fill up my water bottle, and then we're going to check out episode six of March Comes In Like a Lion. All right, let's jump in to March Comes In Like a Lion, episode six in three, two, one, and play. Child of God, part one. Okay, so Child of God. I wonder if this is a reference to, like, the deal with the Shogi God, so to speak. Or if this is referring to like a new character, either way, part one. So this, 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 uh, this arm of sorts is gonna go at least both, at least both halves of this episode. So the it's gonna be at least two chapters. So it's gonna take at least one episode of the anime since they seem to adapt two chapters a uh, episode. <laughs> Oh, 
I just realized I forgot my water. Milky Land? I've never, I don't know about Enoshima. That just makes me think of Junko Enoshima. Enoshima. Um, I don't know about Yokohama Chinatown, but sure, why not? Fair enough. I ate a raw potato once on this channel. Nice. Seems relaxing. <笑>ラマテでもご飯が出てくるだけで幸せかも。ああ。俺はそうだな。やっぱりお伊勢さんかな。ばあさんも行ってみたいって言ってたし。こう。で、坊主。お前どこ行きてんだ。He <笑> He literally is like, what the fuck? But you have nowhere キリアナは今年の移動教室には不参加と。まあ、純一戦じゃしょうがないよな。お前もうプロだし、仕事だからな。退局は絶対で、二神道までの葬式棟以外での危険は認められない。でも、残念だよな。移動教室ったら学生時
But that's not the feeling, if anything. You have that feeling more when hanging out with the Kawamoto family than you do when you play Shogi. But, uh -huh. Makes sense. Oh God, this this OST is just gorgeous. それからしばらくの間はカーテンもテレビもない部屋で。まるで電池が切れたみたいに対局と時々学校に行く以外では毎日毎日ただ眠り続けたジーザスなぜだか毎日眠くて眠くてどうしようもなかった I, I can, I, I 家事は前の家で手伝っていたので一通りできたけど自分一人だけのためにはご飯を食べることすら面倒くさくて。I don't know about that. なな Not when, when you have a rice cooker, I can't, I can't argue with that. It's so easy to make rice. And they literally showed the rice cooker, and also it's Japan, so of course he has a rice cooker. CQ1 組は現在30人。そのうち10人と対戦をして、勝ち星が多い順に2名だけが。So it's like a, it's like a round robin of sorts. 小級には全勝か。それに近い勝ち星が必要だった、sure. しかし2年目の今年初めて2連敗を食らった<音楽>そして呆然としているうちに昇級する目を失った。Interesting. Good God. That piano just started going ham. Dude, this honestly feels like an ED just started. What the hell is going on? Drowning in an endless deep sea, even though he's actually swimming really well. Woo! Oh my God! Yeah, he.、Uh, bro, did he try. Did he want to drown? Like, what the fuck is. And the symbolism to the water, too. The OP. Dude, was he actually drowning and then somebody saved him? やっとたどり着いたしまう、oh, no. ここまで来ればもう大丈夫だ<笑>ここにさえつけばここにさえ居続けられればあれもこれもと多くを望まなければ停滞を受け入れてしまえば As long as you accepted stagnation, stop thinking, huh? Jesus. Ah, see in your head. Ah. Okay, we're going to have to do it. So, even in the actual show, it's all symbolism. Interesting. And that scene in your mind fades to black. Okay, now Child of God Part 2. Now I don't know if it's two parts or if it's like God knows how many parts, but I'm going to assume it's two parts and it's just adapting Child of God in one episode, probably. Who knows? Maybe it's four parts. And that's why the set ends where it does. Is this.
That is some snow white hair. Jesus. Nante Samusona Namayanandaro. Hajimete Mitatoki. So in a way you kinda do too. But demo. Sono Hajimete ga it's that taka. Omoida Senai. そのくらいずっと前から当たり前にそこにあった。わお。そうや当時。当時はい。僕たちの国の神様の子供。Interesting. So this is the child of God, huh? So yeah, told you. Today is a soccer ball, like that. That onigiri is not enough. Professor, sadly, it's too hot outside. But here it's too hot. 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 Nice. Bro, he figured it out that fast. <laughs> yeah, he is a pro. That's crazy, though. That's some that, that was that was legitimately on some like actually on some Magnus Carlson fucking Ikaru Nakamura level beat. Not quite on that level. Yeah, I met him when I was a kid, kind of. Yeah, yeah, kind of. That's a bit of a stretch. So he's like the final boss. Well, I mean, when you have white hair your whole life, that kind of helps. I don't know if you're a kid. I don't know if you're a kid. I don't know if you're a kid. I don't know if you're Sounds a little bit like Ray, yeah. Yeah, it's almost like you're the fifth in history. Interesting. Yeah, he's, he, he is pretty fucking good, but can he reach those heights is the question. Yeah, dude. Hayashida Sensei doesn't give a fuck. He just says what he's thinking. Are you saying before you? Or? So at worst, they became a master. Kereto, Sono Goni Mede Arbokua. Yikes. That's a lot of pressure. That's a lot of pressure. Yikes, and he sees what they're really saying. Yeah, yeah, he feels it. Even if they don't mean that. Yikes. There are a lot of people like that, though. Like I said, I can relate all of this to the chess world. Because I am very into chess. So... So like I said, half of this is just me making references to chess. <laughs> They just crowned a world champion. Yeah. That's actually very good advice. Sensei. Yeah, someone who's a little more removed from Shogi is the type of person who can give you the best advice, I think, in this situation. Yeah, 
辛いよなだから先生オブラートに I know he's never going to sugarcoat it or candy coat it in your、uh, in, as you say damn what a savage が一緒に食ってやろうか先生余計目立つ Yeah that does, that does make it slightly weirder if anything いやまあな試験の成績はいいんだけどなでもお前がもう一回学校に入ってきたのって勉強がしたかったからじゃない He's got a good point たぶん Yeah Because you, you have no need for that element of high school. It's socialization. That, yeah. And yet you haven't been doing that because you, you are a walking contradiction, which I think a lot of people don't understand. Oh, damn. Damn, time is flying, by the way. Also, his hair maybe is getting longer. I can't tell. Because deep down you do want to win and you need to accept that. Because deep down we all want to win and you have to accept that. We all have different definitions of winning, but. Nice to see you, Hina. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go to the bookstore with her. Why not? レイちゃん最近来ないね。ゆうべ餃子だったんだよ。皮から作ったの。すごく美味しかったんだから。Not a big dumpling person. I'm gonna go get Thai tomorrow night, though. That's gonna be good. There's a really good Thai restaurant. Oh, they have this duck that's、oh, so good. I'm gonna go there tomorrow night. So, tonight for you guys. So, get jealous. Damn, girl really wants some McDonald's over here. Yeah, that's, that's actually really cheap. Oh, she just wanted a drink, yeah. First time being treated by a guy, nice. They even have the straw, the McDonald's straw. You got something hot to drink, like coffee or something? Yeah, it, it could be a progression of that. Yeah. He's not a very. Yeah. Sure. But especially after what he did for you, you want to return the favor. What the fuck? Ooh!、Uh, I've never. Pumpkin tempura? That sounds interesting. I don't know if I like it or not, but. I'm down. I do love tempura. Tempura shrimp and vegetables, even though I've never, I've never heard of anyone cooking pumpkin tempura. I'd be down to try it though. What the fuck? There was that one shot that I hated because it was a little sussy. But other than that, this, this is so sweet. Interesting. I'm gonna assume that Child of God Parts 3 and 4 are. is the title of Episode 7 because. They referred to Soya Toji as the child of God, and he had almost nothing to do with this episode. So. Unless they're, you know, trying to say he's like a new kind of child of God. He's the next child of God in Soji Choji, but. Whatever the case may be, I definitely. Also, him. him it's, he's not quite swimming, but him going through the water again has even more meaning now. So, I, I like how we're getting more context for the OP and ED as we、uh, continue on. I'm just gonna let the ED play.、Um, we skip the OP in this episode and we'll skip the ED in seven. Like I said, I still wanna play them most of the time, but I figure we can also save a couple minutes, make the reaction three minutes shorter. Than it otherwise would be in that case. 
But since I'm not having any issues with the OP as an EB, I don't, I don't want to just skip them or anything. Oh, there's definitely a scene after this. Oh! Chapter 3 has started. Unless it's like a really short chapter. Oh. Dude, Tempora actually sounds slapping. Now I kind of want some Tempora. What the fuck? So da. Hina-chan was the one who 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 the I'm not usually like, I don't usually get tempura when I go to like a Japanese place. There's two Japanese places I like to go to. There's like the really good Japanese place. And then there's like, oh, that's such a cool shot. For whatever reason, that reminds me of a scene from Danganronpa 2. I think chapter 4. Nasakenai. Hinachan. Oh, oh, my God. What are the odds of that? Looming danger. Full JoJo's. Bro's literally coming. She's like, do not leave me alone. Girl's more girl is literally the most embarrassed I've ever seen. Why is it shining pink? Yeah, let's talk. Let's chill. What's up? They might actually be able to relate with each other a little more. They might. You might. You might be surprised. You might be surprised because you are an athlete. You just don't. You just need to act like one. <laughs> oh, I love that. And the fucking Evangelion to be continued never always pisses me off. Ah. Uh... Let's see, end card. Shibata Yokusaro. Uh, and, and now I'm actually looking at the art, and this is an angle, to say the least. Uh, that is, those are titties. This angle, not to say this girl isn't thick, but this angle makes her look infinitely thicker than... And, like, obviously the artist is clearly into that because uh, literally the vibe of this shot is thick, which is interesting. Um, also, toes. I'm sure I'm sure there's some people that fucking losing their minds for that. Um, both the thick and the toes, actually. There's multiple things going on here. So, Shibata Yokusaru. Okay, let's... Um, Let's see if this uh, Shibata fellow's anyone I know. The only Shibata I know is Katsuyori Shibata, but let's see. Uh... Okay, the name comes up. Um... Let's see if I can. Uh... The creator of Error Master. A ma a seinen manga that ran for 28 volumes, wow, from 1996 to 2006, and also an anime adaptation in 2003. And it seems like the main character is voiced by Romy Park, the goat. Damn, in 2003, too. Holy shit, Romy Park popping off in 2003, because that was obviously the year of the original Full Metal Alchemist. And if you don't know, Romy Park is the Japanese voice of Edward Elric. But yeah, that was episode six of uh, Sangatsu. That was really good. Uh, I really liked that. Again, I feel like we're going to be saying, I feel like you're going to hear the words. That was really good for me a lot in this series. But I did really enjoy that episode. Uh, it was a bit more introspective. I think episode five is still my favorite episode of this set and possibly the series. Uh, but this was another like episode where we're really diving into 
um, our, uh, Ray's feelings, and it's and we kind of did a bit of a time skip. Like we're all the way in November now, which is kind of crazy. And he just kind of he hasn't really been around the Kawamoto sisters a lot. He's lost three matches, and he's you know struggling a bit in his shogi play, and he's trying to figure out. Like, I don't really care about winning, and I do these half measures, yet at the same time, it hurts so much when I lose, and he's trying to search his feelings to figure out, you know, what his deal is, and obviously, you know, he's he's had a lot of trauma uh, come back up in his head from uh, different experiences he's had in the previous episodes, and they've also been teasing this, um, this, uh, this, uh, yeah, the Child of God... Uh, in Shogi uh, Soya Toji, and then we also got the Takahashi boy, who uh, Takahashi is the star baseball player that Hina's in love with, and I'm going to write his name down before we start uh, episode 7, because he's actually coming up a fair little bit, so he might actually, especially if Hina and Takahashi get together or something, then then they might be like, uh, that might be a thing, like, he might be a pretty relevant character, and I think it might be really interesting because I am kind of wondering if Takahashi and Ray are going to hit it off way more than Ray thinks. Because Takahashi, one, he might be into Shogi. It's possible. Uh, but also, I think just the mutual respect. I think as someone who's become like the star baseball player, he might have a, a bit of an understanding for uh, and respect for someone who's managed to become a pro in their in their field, especially in a game sport kind of field, even if shogi is a mental sport and baseball is an athletic sport. Although there's, like I said, as someone who's you know knows my baseball, it's funny. It's funny because I can relate to this because um, two of my favorite sports, right, are baseball and chess. It's not quite shogi, but I can relate to kind of both sides of the coin because obviously chess and shogi are similar, and I just love baseball. I mean, I love fucking all the sports in particular, but I will say chess and baseball are two of my favorite sports. They're, they're very high on the list. And I, and I also have played both, um, personally a fair bit, uh, definitely have more, uh, well, I don't know. In recent time, I have more chess experience, but historically I probably have more baseball experience, but I love both is the point, so I can relate. But, uh, yeah, it'll be really interesting to see uh, what comes of this and if Takahashi and Rei hit it off, how that how this goes for Hinata, and if she's able to, like, come together and not be a sussy baka. And, and I don't know. It'll just be interesting to see how this uh, encounter at McDonald's or whatever the hell they're calling it in this universe, but the, the McDonald's encounter goes... Um, I haven't had McDonald's in quite a while. It's been... I don't, I don't even know, honestly, last time I had it. Maybe I'll have that soon. I don't know. I'm just thinking about that. Dude. But, uh... Yeah, whatever the case may be. Uh, it should be fun. But, uh... I'm curious. Curious to see how this will go, for sure. Uh, it's interesting to see that we're focusing on this Hina and Takahashi romance angle quite a bit like this is coming up again now uh, with Hinas, which does make me think the one is probably going to happen but at the very least this Takahashi is going to be a relevant character for quite a while like I think he's going to become important either because he does end up dating Hina or he actually befriends Kiriyama and they grow they learn to um you know, have a respect for each other and her friends or whatever the case may be. There's something here with this guy where I think he's going to be a relevant character. Um, I don't know how, exactly how they're going to go about it. If it's as simple as he's going to get with Hina or if it's going to go some other direction. But either way, I feel like they're building him up for a reason. And I'm excited to see where they take this. And obviously that's going to that's going to kind of begin in this next episode. So we're going to kind of get at least some answers on that right away, probably so. Excited for that, but, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I said, you know, we're just kind of, uh, Kiriyama has a lot to work through in his head, and this series, um, is all about that, and we're kind of just gradually pushing through it, and it's really interesting, and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. it it's, it's been really great so far. This has been a really nice show, six episodes in. We still have a long way to go, obviously, but 
At the same time, like, it's not a super long series. Like, six episodes down, only 38 to go. And after this, obviously, after we do the next episode in a second, it'll be seven episodes down, 37 to go. And I think we have what, um, what? Yeah, because we're going to have four, after this, we have four more sets for uh, season one. And then we have uh, seven sets for season two. So, I mean, you know, we still have a long way to go, but, you know, 11 more sets. Hey, if I'm consistent... Hey, who knows? If this is the new shark and I'm consistent, 11 sets. That's 11 more Thursdays. It'll fly by. But uh, whatever the case may be, really good stuff. I still think episode 5 is my favorite episode of the set, but let's see if episode 7 can top it. All right, let's jump in to episode 7 of Sangatsu in 3, 2, 1, and play. Ooh, not starting with the OP this episode. Interesting. And more water-related stuff. And the wind is here again. Interesting. There's a deeper block here. Because you're lying to yourself. Yeah, and that's the point. He's, you're lying to yourself about a lot more than just Shogi. It'll be interesting, because I'm assuming this series has four openings uh, to a season. Um, and if that is the case, we actually aren't going to have this opening that much longer, which is kind of crazy. I could be wrong. This opening might be for all of season one. But if I had to guess, I'm assuming there's four openings. Of course. I love how that subtitle in these subs flies with that image, that's so cool. It's a little thing, but it's a really nice touch. Nobody else. Yeah, part three continued, because we technically started part three in the last episode. And now we're back. After an interesting prologue. That's interesting how that was structured. I like that. Using the OP to your advantage as a transition piece. Transitional piece. It's really nice direction and just it's really clever. It's a very anime thing in general, but very cool. Yeah, he might know who you are. Yeah, he knows who you are. Yeah, I knew it. Yeah, he, he wants to be like you, but in the baseball sense. Yeah, so he was... I knew it was going to go in this direction! Yeah, because he's trying to be a... Yeah. 
でも聞きたかったんです桐山さんはプロになってから1年遅れでまた学校に行かれてますよねあのそれはどうしてですか<笑> The last thing でも。えっと、僕は本当に将棋にしか特化してないんです。人付き合いも苦手だし、勉、okay, 強は好きだけど、学校には馴染めませんでした。ナイス。人生を早く決めたことは後悔していません。でも、多分、逃げなかったって記憶が欲しかったんだと思います。Interesting. <laughs> wow, you actually, yeah, you, you were very honest. Yeah, now you're the one that's. You're being very honest. Because he's someone who respects you, and I think he'll respect your answer. Yeah. Sure. Pinch no toki, yoke cantokuni. Yes. But what's great about this is in both shogi and, and baseball, they are sports of failure. You're going to lose a lot. Like baseball is a sport where the best hitters of all time hit the ball and get a hit less than half of the time. Yeah, yeah, you actually just helped someone. And I think in the process, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just helped someone with the help of your own experiences. Yeah. And this is the last thing he wanted, but deep down, deep down, this is what you wanted. This is what you've always wanted. People to look at you, respect you, appreciate you. And I think it means even more coming from some random person you just met. Oh, hey, Takashi! Oh, come on, let's go! Oh, but I'm still a little bit. Oh, 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 I'm still. Yes! <laughs> Ray! Ray just got a two for one special out of that. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, they have a lot to talk about. Yeah, let's go have some Tabora. Interesting, though, that this arc seems to not be about... Yeah, it seems to be... Maybe Child of God was referring more to... Our boy, yeah. Okay. Damn, we skipped the... I didn't even get to see the tempura? Okay, pickled vegetables, iffy, but the rest of that sounds really good. Pickled vegetables could go either way. Yeah, you just had. Yeah, Ray used to be a good guy. 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 Yeah, Ray used to be a Alright, 
I can't wait to see more. Uh, I can't wait to see more of Takahashi. Uh, this is name, right? Yeah, Takahashi. It's weird because Hayashida's uh, uh, first name is Takahashi, so it kind of threw me off for a second. Yeah. And you have to go and find those stories, mate. Ah, the storm again. Yeah. 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 Oh my god, we asked. Oh my god. We brought Takahashi to dinner at the Kawamoto's place. Wow. So, in other words, she actually, I was gonna say, she has a lot of different emotions in the state. Oh my god. The goat. Yeah, it's not, I, believe it or not, I actually am not a big curry fan. I know, blasphemous. Bro, he's a baseball player. You're insane. You're gonna be fine. Takashi kun kara doyo aite mas ka te mailu kitan da kedo. Hina chan chi ni issho ni itte ii kana. Nanka waru katta kana. What the fuck, Momo is adorable. Damn, damn, it was just destined to be. Yep.Yep.Goodest yep. girl, this girl's so dumb. I mean, I get it, young love and all that, but seriously, do you not remember last time? It was literally this set. <laughs> Especially these oh, spicy demon cats. Wow. I honestly love the portrayal of the demon cats. で、さらに温泉卵を乗っけるっていうのはどう温泉卵までもおお、まとまったようだ。で、高橋くんはというと。あ、温泉卵が乗ってる。いただきます。いただきます。いただきます。おお、that looks good. Dude, he's a baseball player. He probably slams food and... Uh, what the fuck? Wait, Kiriyama? <laughs> uh, are, are you hungry for some dick right now? What? Honestly, that would explain a few things. The Kiriyama is kind of cute, not gonna lie. <laughs> You brought a tape? Baseball or shogi? What are we looking at? <laughs> Dude, that's 
ったの何もそんなこと言ってなかったよあそっか親友ですもんね桐山さん親友<笑>なんでそんなことになってんの It's just canon now <laughs> Maybe you can replace him, Takashi. Just a minute, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 He's like, I don't want any part of this. Yikes. Nanda boys, Joe Kaikinka. Ah, Domo, Ozamastemas. Oh, Taco, she's a cigarica. They can't get on. クソジジイとクソオヤジは元気かはい元気っす昨夜も将棋指して喧嘩してましたあで桐山五段に聞いてこいって言われたんすけどあ NHK 杯どこだ俺も見てたぞあっナイスあここです先手4人馬えっああなんてことするんだ桐山What the? I love the commentary for the Mikado. Oh, so cool. 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 That's often the case. Of course. Oh, 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 Yeah. That's true. <laughs> Take better care of your Shoji and yourself, Kiriyama. Wow. I think this is what you needed to hear. <laughs> Yeah, apparently Nikaido's the goat. Dude, I feel like Nikaido and Takashi are gonna be like my two favorite characters. <laughs> Nikaido, Nikaido kind of reminds me. I hate him saying this because it's another big guy, but he reminds me the tiniest bit of Daru, and it's kind of hard to explain why. I know the obvious thing is, oh, he's fat, but no, like. There's just something about this, it's like a trolling friendship, but like, I guess Daru's a like, more witty. What the fuck, Ray? Ray yelling. That never happens! Yeah, they, they seem very genuine. <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> Ray showing passion, that's a new one. Damn, he's going off. Yeah, yeah, he just realized, holy shit, I'm actually yelling. Yeah, there's some passion deep down in you. Aww. Dude, that was really good character development. We're only seven episodes in. I'm here for this. Important things, important matters. Great name of the chapter. Oh, teach me how to play Shogi. Who are we? 
Which one? Oh, God! I don't know. 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 I木製よりビニールマットの方がいいかもな。お茶の間のチャブ台の上に乗せるわけだから。で、小間も気軽に扱ってもらえるように、このプラスチックのがいいかも。<笑><笑> えっと、どれがいいかな。受信者向けなら谷山先生と千崎先生のが分かりやすいぞ。Nick、Nick、Kaido, why do you have an N on your Why do you have an N on your sweater? Did, did your did fucking Hanaoka make that for you? 嬉しいよ、君も普及の大切さを感じてるんだね。で、誰に教えるんだい? And now I love how Boldero and got involved in this. Yeah, like chess. It literally is chess, but like Japan. Damn! Fucking wrecking. Get fucked, Kiriyama Sensei. Oh, that's awesome. All the same as chess besides the board a little bit and the pieces. Alright, so we got the pieces. Oh, don't, don't try to teach her, Jesus Christ, don't try to teach her about, like, uh, yeah, you're going way too fast. Yeah, seriously. Yeah, she literally got nothing you said. What the fuck? Yeah, Wow, even the cats are the cats are the same. Game wa kono kyu kakeru <laughs> honestly, honestly, this is a good way. Yeah, this is actually impressive. He is, yes, you are being excluded. Sucks to suck, bro. Cat Shogi Sin. What the fuck? This is literally the. This is literally replacing the ED. So the pawn. The pawn. They actually made a song. So pawns. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't know, does the knight move the same way? Okay, yeah, the knight's the same as in chess. Yep. Two and one, yep. I think there's like a spy in Shogi, which is something that's different from uh, chess. Yep. Yep. So it's a, a that the knight okay the knight is exactly the same as a knight in chess, 
Okay, gold general. That's different. Okay. Interesting. Are, we're only learning about the pawn, the knight, and the gold general? Okay. I mean, I guess it can only be so long, right? Oh, that's a cute picture. And yeah, I know the text is there. Chiba Tetsuya. That name sounds familiar. I can think of a couple Tetsuyas. Again, because I'm a wrestling fan. Once again, I just any chance to make wrestling. I, I think of Tetsuya Naito, but um, I feel like there's a Tetsuya. I think like I want to say the director of AOT, like in the earlier seasons, was like his name was Tetsuya. I feel like, but yeah, that's that's a cute picture. I like the art style. Um, has a very old school vibe to it. And I guess I'll check out who this uh, Chiba Tetsuya fellow is real quick here. And then we'll discuss uh, a very interesting episode seven. Okay, this guy has a... Oh, the... oh. Oh, wow. Okay, this guy made Ashita no Joe. Okay, okay, this guy's a legend. Uh, whatever Notari Matsutaro is. Oh, it's a sumo wrestling manga. Okay, so this guy's like a like a sports a sports uh, manga kind of legend. Joe is like one of the Joe is a legendary series. Like, I mean, I've obviously never seen it, but like I know of Ashita no Joe. I know of its existence. That's that's a legendary series. That's really interesting. Okay, so that I was going to say that name almost felt familiar, but Chiba Tetsuya, okay, he yeah, the Ashita no Joe creator. That that's 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 wild. That's easily the biggest one we've had so far besides Miura. And even then, it's not even that far off. Like that guy is a that's an OG. That's a legend right there. Holy shit, that's cool. Um, that's a big, big, uh, big title card there. But, uh, yeah, that was episode seven of March comes in like a lion. And that was really fun because we got, we got to see, like I said, the way that Kiriyama was able to be a positive influence on Takahashi and through all of this, now the, now the, the sisters know that he's like a pro shogi player, not just playing at a club. Uh, and it was also really interesting, uh, really just seeing like how through rivalry, Nikaido has, has really just become bonded with Kiriyama the way he has. And it's, it's really fun to see that. And it's really exciting to kind of see, uh, where that goes, but also now Momo wants to learn how to play Shogi and in the process um, you know, that's more bonding with Kiriyama, but it's also a chance for Nikaido to kind of connect with them. And I like how we're, it, Kiriyama is building himself a network of friendships and, you know, now he's, he's friends with Nikaido. Now he's friends with Takahashi. Like he's starting to build a friend group and it's really awesome to see. And, and as, and as he does, you're going to, he's going to feel less and less alone. He's going to grow more and more as a person. And we're going to get these great moments like where he yells out. And he gets salty and like just this stuff where he starts acting less like a robot and more like a human being. And that's what we want to see from our boy. And it's awesome. Um, uh, bro was a little too, I think, into Takahashi. You know, bro was a little sus, I'm just going to say. But um, not that I mind you being a little sus. But <laughs> it was an interesting little moment. Um a lot of good stuff, though. I, I really, I really enjoyed that. I think this episode and episode five, odd episodes have been really good because I feel like three, five, and seven are probably my three favorite episodes so far. So that's kind of funny. But uh, this was a really good episode, and I think a great way to end our first. I feel like 
real set. I feel like when we start getting to like three or four, because it typically, uh, most of the time, like three is my perfect set number where it's like, it's not too small, but it's also not that long. Four is also a really good one. Because uh, when it gets to five or more, they start to feel long. Two or less, it's kind of like too short, even though sometimes we'll do twos, but not that often. Um, three is the magic number, but four is also a very good number. So those are kind of my preferred set numbers when it works out is to do either three episodes or four episodes in a video. But um, yeah, this was a really fun set. I really enjoyed uh, I really enjoyed these episodes, and it's nice to actually make a little progress in the series because now we're a good seven episodes into Sangatsu, so we, we, you know, we're we're almost halfway through the season, and we'll be basically halfway through the season after the next set. I think the next set's eight to ten. Obviously, eleven episodes would be halfway, so we'll be just under. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it looks like most of our sets in this season are actually going to be four episodes, so we're going to start. Uh, so that's going to kind of be a thing, but yeah, I'm, I, I really, really enjoyed that. And I'm really excited for more Sangatsu, which we'll obviously get to next Thursday, since this is the Thursday show. And the plan is just to post the series every Thursday until we're, uh, until we get through both seasons. Simple enough, honestly, uh, since it is, uh, an off rotation situation here, but, um, yeah, that's really all I got to say about this episode. I really liked it. Uh, it was good to see. It was good to see Kiriyama blow up a little bit. Uh, it's great to see the passion in which Nikaido wants to see Kiriyama succeed um, as a rival and as a friend. And it's nice to see how their relationships developing. And it's nice to see new relationships forming with Takahashi, uh, with him and Kiriyama. And we'll see if anything happens with him and Momo. That'll be or sorry Hina, sorry Hina. Uh, that'll be interesting. Uh, so I'm, I'm looking forward to all of that and, uh, that should be a lot of fun. And this was a really fun set. And the last thing I was expecting was that Shogi, uh, alternate ED at the end of episode seven. That was adorable. I probably would have watched the ED in, in episode, uh, uh, well, no, or, oh yeah, I was going to skip it. So yeah, it, will, it doesn't matter then in that case, <laughs> I, I, I'm getting everything mixed up now, but regardless, that was a that was a really fun set. I really, really enjoyed that episode, and I'm really excited for more when we get to it uh, next Thursday for you guys. So uh, yeah, that's that's it. We're good. We're done. You can leave. But if you want to hear my outro, that's that's cool too. So uh, anyways, if you guys want to support the channel, my Patreon's down below in the description. My Discord server is also down below in the description if you want to hang out there and talk about my Sangatsu reactions or just talk about random nonsense, because more of the latter is mostly what happens there. But if you want to get in touch with me, uh, DMing me on Discord is the best option by far, uh, and probably the only one where I'll respond in maybe a timely fashion, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> But anyways, um, uh, without any further ado, it's time for me to bid you adieu. The Flamin' Shark, signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I'll see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.